Hi Tenfold, I hope you're well. Um, my name's Wesley and I'm just struggling with this question over here. I hope you can help me. It's called question two. Uh, 32 semi-annual payments of 6,000 Rand are made in order to repay a loan. The payment starts in two years time. Um, interest is 18.6% per annum compounded semi-annually. Find the size of the loan. Please, can you help me out with this question? Thank you. Right. According to this question, we are told that 32 semi-annual payments of 6,000 rands are made in order to repay a loan. The payments start in two years' time, and interest is calculated at 18.6% per annum compounded semi-annually. Find the size of the loan. All right. Now, this is a very nice question. It's a question that is based on loans. And I'm sure if you've been doing financial math at school, you understand annuities. But in addition, you know that if it's a loan, it's going to be a present value formula. However, there's something very interesting about the loan that you need to understand. And that is the fact that if you take a loan now, according to your formulas of annuities, the first payment must be made in one period's time. So if you're paying in monthly, the first payment must be made in one month time. If you're paying in quarters, the first payment must be made in one quarter time. And if you're paying in semi-annuals like this, that means two times in a year. The first payment must be made in six months time. So that is very important to keep in mind. So let's go back to our question. And you need to understand this. If you delay your payments, the bank or the financial institution has the right to charge you for that. So if you delay your repayments, you don't repay immediately, we will have to re I mean, charge you interest. Um, for all the skipped uh, payments that you were supposed to make. If not making the first payment in one period of time, any amount of other skipped payments, we're going to charge you for that. All right, so let's see what the story is here. If you look at this question, it's a very nice question, guys. 32 semi-annual payments. That's the first thing that stands out for me there. And I can see clearly that the number of payments we're going to make is simply going to be 32, right, of 6,000 rents, right. Since it's continuous periodic payments of the same amount, we, are know, we know for a fact that this is going to be an annuity and the X value of this particular annuity is going to be 6,000 uh, rands. Are uh, made in order to repay a loan. Once you see the word loan, then you know that we're going to use the PV formula. All right, cool. Now, the payments start in two years. This is where the problem lies. The payments start in two years' time. That means that you're going to be charged interest for doing this. This is basically very important for you to keep in mind because the first payment was supposed to be made in one semi-annual period's time, which means in six months' time. That is when the first payment was supposed to be uh, uh, paid. Now, since you're skipping so many semi-annuals, you're going to only pay after two years. That means we have to charge you interest for that. Please keep that in mind. So according to this question, we are told that interest is calculated at 18.6%. That's just very important. Compounded semi-annually, we know for a fact because of the semi-annually, our I will have to be divided by 2. It was going to be divided by 12 if it was compounded monthly. So we have to find the size of the loan. So this is basically where the question lies. All right, cool. So now let's go back and uh, put this information quite nicely for ourselves here. And the number line will assist us to actually visualize what I'm trying to explain to you guys. So according to this, if we put a number line like this and then we go back and we try to uh, jot down the information here. At the beginning of time, this is where you basically took the loan. So the loan lies here. This is where you're basically taking the loan. Now you're supposed to pay in one period time. So the first payment was supposed to be made here at T1 but that was skipped. And then T2 was also skipped. T3 was also skipped. The only payment that we started seeing happened after two years. And because of the fact that we are dealing with semi-annuals, in two years, you've got four of them. Because in a year, you've got two semi-annuals. So remember, semi means half. All right, so this is skipped. This is also skipped. This is also skipped. The first payment only happened in two years time, which means this is where we began seeing our first installment of 6,000 rands. Right. Remember what I said, we need a gap. So this gap that we need, I'm going to say it's there. This is the gap that we always need between the time you're owing us and the time you start repaying us. And this is going to run all the way until what? It's going to run all the way until T of um, 32 because we need to do 32 semi-annual payments. So this 32 might be misleading. Remember the following guys. I'm going to remove it because I want you to understand something. The last payment that is going to be made there 
is 32 months from the first time you started paying. So there are 32 semi-annual installments that you're making from the first time you started paying until that time that you actually paid. So we're going to have to do two things here. Let's look at this and think about it. On this part of the question, on this part of the question is where we have our annuity. It lies here because we've got those payments happening. And this annuity is going to be which one? The present value annuity lies from T3 all the way until the last payment is made. Those 32 monthly, I mean, semi-annual payments that are made are going to simply lie there where we are. However, because of the fact that the loan was not here, the loan was started right there in the beginning before you start skipping payments. So we're going to have to do something interesting here in the beginning. And this is where the charging of interest has to happen. So these people gave you money. They charged you interest because you skipped the repayment and then you start settling in the loan here at the end here. So we're going to have to do some compounding here. There's going to be an A calculation that has to happen here in the beginning because of the fact that you skipped months and you were not repaying. You skipped a lot of semi-annual payments that you were supposed to make. Okay, cool. So according to this, let's do the annuity. We're actually working in reverse here. Um, the formula for the present value says the present value equals to X into 1 minus 1 plus I all the power to the negative n and everything has to be divided by n. And here I'm just working out, and when you pay that amount, how much are you really paying for? So the amount we're paying every month according to the question is 6,000 rands. We have one minus one plus. So according to this question, Wesley, you were told that it's actually 18.6%. That is the interest compounded semi-annually. So let's go back and find 18.6%. It's going to be 0 0.186. Semi-annual, we divide our interest by 2, divided by negative. Already this was in semi-annuals, so we don't have to multiply it by 2 because it is already converted for us. Now, this has to be divided by 0, 0,186, everything divided by 2. So then you go and fetch your calculator and try to figure out, okay, cool, if I'm paying 6,000, how much am I really paying for? How much am I trying to actually finish in this case? So you'll have 1 minus... Open another bracket, 1 plus, we have a fraction there, 0 0.186, guys, not 5, but 6, right? Everything divided by what? Divided by 2. And then close bracket to the power of what? Well, to the power of negative 32, and then close bracket. That minus is very tricky, guys. A lot of you forget it all the time. Okay, cool. So when you go to the denominator, you've got 0 0.186. Very interesting, all over what? All over two. And then when you press your calculator, you're getting 60,767. So 60,767, and how many cents do you have here? Well, according to this question, you've got 9259. So comma, 9259. I'm keeping all these decimals because I haven't really arrived at my solution, and I want to keep it here and um, use this number because I'm still going to continue to work out what the original loan was. So this is how much you were paying for when you started paying your first installment. So if I'm paying from here, that's the amount we were owing here. Where does this amount come from? I'm now going back to try and figure out what was the loan value that led us to this amount of uh, 67,000 that we're cutting, this 60,000 that you're looking at here. The 60,000 you're looking at is the amount you had before the gap. And that is what you are paying for when you pay this 32 monthly deposits. So I want to know, where does this 60,000 come from? It comes from the actual value of the loan, which is where we need to, to move ourselves. So we have to move ourselves back in time and try to figure out what was the loan value. And that is where the compound interest formula kicks in, Wesley. Let's see what will happen in this case. So I'm going to say the compound value that you're going to get will be 1 plus i to the power of n all the time. So we know what we were paying for because this amount is what we ended up with at the end. So this is where your loan value lies. Very important for you to keep in mind. This is the loan value that you're looking for. So if I make P the subject of the formula, P is going to be um, A divided, right, A divided by 1 plus I to the power of N. Very interesting. So if you go continue and you substitute, you'll put that value of 60,000. 700 and something. What is something? Something is 767,9259. Don't doubt it off. Divided by 1 plus the same interest you're dealing with in this question. Divided by 2 to the power of how many um, semi-annuals were skipped? According to the question, we skipped three of them. From zero, it's 1, 2, 3 that we skipped. So we have to charge you for that. So they also charged you for that. So I'm going to put uh, a 3 there. And then just go to your calculator. All right, you've got whatever the number we have there. I'm just going to say divide. By what? By 1 plus 
and then you've got 0 0.186 all over 2, everything to the power of, to the power of 3, and this should give us the total amount of the loan that we actually were paying for. What do you get there? You're getting 46,000. Right, 46,000, how much is that? Uh, 538, 538. Now you can round it off here to uh, two decimal places, which is gonna be 67 cents. And this is the amount of the loan that these people gave you. A very interesting question. You need to keep in mind that if you take a loan and you don't repay people, they will compound it until you start repaying. And when you start repaying with continuous payments, it's going to be a PV value. We're still coming with a lot of very interesting content, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us, we'll be right back.